Hello everybody, it's Detectives here and today we'll be setting up Cody on top of RetroPie, giving it a very pretty menu just like you see on screen, and setting up our 360 gamepad to control Cody navigation. Here's a quick overview of what we'll achieve in this video, so feel free to click on the screen now to jump forward to that point in the video. First we'll install Cody, so connect to your Pi, press F4 to access the terminal, and then open RetroPie setup by typing the command on screen. Once in, go down to option 4, experimental, and select the option 252, install Kodi. This can take up to 10 minutes, so give it some time and wait to be taken back to the RetroPie setup screen. When it does complete, go back to the main menu, go to setup, and scroll down to the bottom and install option 329, Xbox Controller 360 driver. Now, when we do install this driver, we may ruin our button configuration for our emulators, so be aware that you may have to reconfigure some keys, but it will be needed if you want to control Kodi using your gamepad. We are done installing all the additional packages we need, so go back to the main menu and reboot your system. Make sure you have downloaded the zip package I have linked in the description, as we will need this for the next part of our tutorial. On our PC we want to open WinSCP and PuTTY and connect to our Pi. Also extract the folder you downloaded from the description and have that ready. Open up commands.txt in the root of the directory to start, as this has all the commands we'll be using in the next section, and you can simply copy and paste them into PuTTY rather than typing all of this out. While I'm preparing everything on screen, I should let you know that I've tested this with an Xbox 360 controller and PS3 DualShock 3 controller, both wired and connected via USB. After this tutorial, the PS3 controller started to display as a 360 controller, but for me that wasn't an issue. Make sure you choose the non-controller options if you don't want gamepad support in Kodi. Now let's get straight into it. Copy command 1 from our text file and use right click on your mouse to paste that into PuTTY. Next we're going straight to command 2, so copy and paste that again into PuTTY and press enter. These two commands create the folder and change the permissions of that folder to hold our art files for our Kodi menu in emulation station. Now we just need to copy the files over from the directory we downloaded onto Pi using WinSCP. Watch where I navigate to on screen using WinSCP and then notice I navigate to the same folder in the file we downloaded from the description. Now it's just a matter of dragging and dropping this file or these files and folders across from Windows into WinSCP. Once that is copied, navigate back up the folder structure in WinSCP just as I'm doing on screen and then go to our Home Pi RetroPie ROMs folder. Here we want to create a new folder using this icon here and name it Kodi. Now jump back across to our downloaded file and navigate to the same directory in the folder structure. We'll see two files in here, Kodi.sh and Kodi.NoController.sh. Copy Kodi if you want to use your DualShock 3 or 360 gamepad, or Kodi no controller if you want to just use your keyboard to navigate Kodi. Once this is done, copy command 3 into PuTTY and press enter. If you chose to copy Kodi no controller in the last step, you'll have to change the command to reflect the name of that file. Now we'll modify es underscore systems.config to include our new Kodi menu and its art files we added earlier. To do this, copy command 4 from our file into PuTTY and press enter. Go down to the third line like you see on screen and press enter a few times to make space for our new config lines. Next, open es underscore systems.config in our downloaded files location in ETC emulation station and copy everything you see. Go back to PuTTY and make sure the cursor is near the top of the file and right click to paste this text. Make everything look pretty like I am and then push Ctrl X to exit, hitting Y and enter to override our existing file. Now if you're not setting up your controller you can stop here, but if you are let's move on. Navigate to your home Pi directory in WinSCP and copy the Kodi.ini file over from our downloaded package. If you're using a wireless control, rename and copy Kodi Wireless or Kodi Wired for a wired control. Make sure you do rename the file that you need before copying it to Kodi.ini or we'll have troubles later on. Once that is copied across, run Command 5 from our commands file using PuTTY and this will set the appropriate permissions for this file that we just created. Straight after that we want to copy Command 6 into PuTTY and edit Xbox driver file. Now the following files do not have extensions associated with them in Windows, but you can easily open them up with Notepad or Notepad++ like I do to copy the contents across. Navigate to etc init in our download package and open Xbox driver with Notepad or a similar program. 
Copy all the text you see and use right click to paste this into PuTTY. Keep a close eye on what I am doing on screen and if you do exactly the same you won't have any troubles. When this is done save and exit the file using Ctrl X, Y and Enter and then use Command 7 to change the permissions and then Command 8 to start this driver. Now I myself am a little bit slow at following my own instructions but bear with me while I catch up on screen and we will get there eventually. If all goes well you should see a few warnings like we see on screen but you can safely ignore these and then we're on to the next step. This will be our last and final file so copy command 9 into PuTTY and press enter. Navigate to etc default in our downloaded package and open the wired or wireless file that matches your Xbox controller type. Before we copy the contents of this file across we need to do one thing and that is change the controller num at the top of the file to match the number of controllers we are using. I have two controllers so I'll change this number to 2. After that you can copy the entire contents and use right click on your mouse to paste it into PuTTY. Double check that you do have case starting on a new line like I do on screen or you may get an error. Once again use Ctrl X, Y and Enter to save our new file. Now we're almost done. Type sudo reboot to restart your Pi and test things out. When emulation station loads you may have to set up your gamepad again so do this and then load into Kodi to test your controller. So that's it guys, you can see my controller working on screen with Kodi now. I hope you found this video useful and if you did please like and comment. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.